the last three years have been great. I remember the first time I walked you to your car after our first date. And I remember you were different. Something was different. We've experienced so much together. We've experienced a lot of firsts together. Like the first time that we went out of the country. Well, first time I went out of the country without my parents, but it meant a lot to me. We went to Cabo and I, I remember feeling so enmeshed with you. So entangled in the love that we made. <laughs> I remember just sitting on the beach every night and just being, you know, not having to have some other form of stimulation, but just getting to be with you. And I remember that time that, that guy walked up to us and he was drunk and he asked us to dance and I know that that's not your kind of thing, but you know me, I love a whimsical interaction with a stranger. <laughs> I remember looking at you and you smiled and I, in that moment I felt so accepted. It's not every day that my boyfriend lets me dance with another guy, but you made me feel like whoever I am or whatever I wanted to do, it was okay. You know, I was trying my hand in photography and I took that stupid picture that I was obsessed with and then I stared at it for 10 minutes and thought it was hideous, but you were so supportive. You even kept that picture, I think. But lately I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like I haven't even talked to you in months with the new house and you know at work Sarah she's she's just a good listener I mean you've talked to her before I we had a few drinks and one thing led to another and I'm sorry. It didn't mean anything. I love you so much. And I, I can't live without you. I want you to know that. I need you to know that. The last three years have been absolutely incredible. Hey, Laura. Hey, have you heard from Avery yet? No, I haven't, but you know how he gets when he's upset. He, he'll calm down and he'll come back. He does this all the time. I know the past few weeks have sucked, but for what it's worth, I hope it works out. Yeah, me too. Well, if you hear from Avery, will you please let us know? Of course. Well, alright. Good night, here. Night.
Avery? I'm sorry. But I won't. I won't live like this anymore. The past three years have been some of the best of my life. I've experienced more firsts with you than than anyone in my life, you know, I, I do love you, but I won't. I've never met anyone like you, Terry. I've never met anyone with more opinions than you. I've never met anyone with more hobbies than you. You were always able to get me out of my shell. Get me to do things that I would never do. You remember Cabo? That wasn't something I planned to do. You sprung it on me and so we went. You were into photography then. That was that was your thing. Somehow everything you touch is so good. I remember we were sitting on the beach and you had that you took that one photo and you ran back and you showed me and for once you were proud of something you did and then of course you hated it after a few minutes. You were bored. That was a good photo. I printed it and I, I still have it in my office. Do you remember we were on the beach and then that weird guy came and interrupted us? And he asked us if we wanted to dance, and I said no. But then you went ahead and did it anyway. That's fine. It, it was fine. It would have been fine. But you wouldn't shut the fuck up about it, Terry. You... I get that I was never the, I was a stick in the mud and you, you never said it, but you didn't have to say it. You, you never fucking said what you wanted ever. At least you look cute. I know about Sarah. I read your text messages. I know about Sarah. I've forgiven you for a lot of things, but I, I'm not gonna forgive you for this. You know, I, I'm sorry, Terry, that I did this, that I caused this, but I do not forgive you. And I know that we're entangled and fuck, I wish we weren't, but 